You know, the thing with the whole Android agenda and the whole Android, well, paradigm is that the thing is, most life forms created themselves or evolved themselves through, you know, the organism's free will and decisions. If you look at, like, microscopic um, models of um, very early life forms, they're all sort of independent. I know that you've got this ecology model, the whole ecological, you know, Amazonian, you know, biosynthesis and the whole, um, you know, microorganisms living off other microorganisms. But even things like mistletoe, that's a parasite that grows in a tree, it itself is growing off the tree, you know. Now, there are two ways of looking at it when it comes to people like Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg and the whole Android AI sector, and that is that are these, mach are these machines getting us to make them or are we making the machines? The thing with the machines is, firstly, they haven't evolved over a long time. They've literally been thrown together in a very short period of time. I The human beings haven't even been around as, as long as some other animals that have been around a lot longer than humans. Um, you know, certain, you know, a, a hell of a lot of mammals and animals have been here for longer than humans and not even changed. Um, you know, in, and then you've got all your insects and, and other species that have died out. The, the thing with these things is that literally... We're looking at, you know, these things weren't around in, you know, I don't think these things were around, were they, in the 1700s when they actually made, you know, the American um, First Amendment. You know, we had printing presses, printing blocks. They're talking about ancient batteries to do with the Egyptians and so forth. I don't know how much truth is in that and what they did with them, whether they had them or not. But, you know, they, they, were, they were using candles. I mean, you know... In America, through the 1600s and 1700s, I mean, even in the 1800s, you know, like the Westerns, I mean, you've got you still got gas lamps and, you know, early electricity. Really, the, the communication system is a good model because the communication system, you know, Alexander Bell with the first recording of his voice, prior to... You've got the telegrams, the electronic telegrams, telegraph wire, and the telephone. But prior to that, you know, you've just got a normal post, and we still do use a normal post. I mean, it, it, it's literally... I mean, 1900, when the labor... To be honest, I, I think that, you know, when you're looking at the invention of the Labour Party in 1900, and there's still quite a lot of horses and carts around... I mean, they're not really getting motor vehicles, you know, properly till, you know, the 1920s when they get at least expanded around so a lot of people have got them, you know, because everyone didn't have them. At some point, you've got horses and motor vehicles on the road at the same time, you know. By 1920s, then, you know, the majority of people have got motor vehicles. From 1900 until 1920 is not long, really. It, these things have been chucked together and I don't think that they're throwing themselves together in the way that Elon Musk is thinking that this thing, these things, because when you disassemble these, these things to the bare parts, no separate part of them is alive. Yet a human, you know, you can grow certain cells and cultures and things and parts of, you know, all, all these odd weird things that um, Bill Gates is doing, growing um, living meat and stuff like that. It, 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 it's a bit of a con when you get an android or a robot and give it a focal point of consciousness. So much as like you can see a face in a tree uh, for a communication point, but it's not got that same type of consciousness like they give a tree in a cartoon. Although the uh, plants have a consciousness that you can understand and tap into through certain ancient practices that we've lost. Um, and And I actually think that 
it, it, it's really since I, you know, they, they say that the Labour Party is the party for working class people or for the workers, but I don't think it is. I actually think that the Labour Party is the party of the elite because without it, the elite can't exist if it wasn't for the Labour Party. It's really the Labour Party is a Christmas present for the elite. It is the consensual, it, it's not slavery in chains, it's unchained. It's slavery unchained. It's like, you know, we'll take the handcuffs off you and the manacles and the ball and chain and let you out, um, but you will consent, agree and submit to be the working class. It, it, I think that it is since, you know, the invention of the Labour Party, really, when all these things happen, because I don't think that they could have happened without it as quick. And we know the major at, at least half of what they've made and done has been in gross excess and too much and cause all of the illness and pollution and so forth. If they'd have invented all these devices and put them on the shelf in the lab or you know, in the museum and to look at it and not mass made them, not mass produced everything, I don't think that it would hold back any of the what we call this progress, you know? I don't think it would have held back the progress of mankind with, you know, telescopes and rockets because... All these Hadron Colliders and big microscopes and, you know, satellites and things like that, they're, they're for the governments and the elites. They're not really for the people, except when you watch the images and see on your TV, but not in the sense of that, you know, like a mobile phone's for everyone or, you know, a, a soda can's for everyone. A lot of the industry and production that is given to the, to the middle class and poor people, you know, the stuff for us, what, what, what out of all this, you know, uh, since 1900, what's for us? Sugar and spice and, you know, all things nice, you know. Uh, soda cans, you know, um, cans of Bud Light, you know, drive throughs uh, you know, Adidas tracksuits, trainers, you know, um, electric, you know, motor scooter, mopeds. To be honest, all of the, all those things really, they... You can say they make life easier or make life um, better, but really everyone's grumbling about these things because these are you know cheap things, poor things for poor people, and really it, it's made a lot of the mess. I don't think that the scientists would have been held back at all, and you could say them well, what would what would the people have had? Well, to be honest, they could have you know they could have had rather than going through you know um, you know disposable consumables that don't really get them healthy and don't really get them anything really better in life. You, you could have manufactured a lot nicer things, but a lot less things, um, a lot better quality, rather than these ridiculous drill bits that you put the drill bit in the screw and then it just rounds off straight away because they haven't even made the metal any good. You know, um, it, it, it's just been done wrong and it's been rushed. That's the problem with it. And I don't think that any of the scientists would have been held back really significantly, given to the fact that, you know, we were doing, you know, really ridiculously complicated calculations way back in Stonehenge. So, according to Howard Crowhurst, so, you know, it, 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 it's, it, part of it is the greed of the humans and when they're, Misled, the end of, you know, we've all got self-control problems. But, you know, I really think that it is the... I think the Labour Party isn't the party of the working people and never was. It, that's the biggest con. I think that's the biggest trick from 1900, really, you know, Um I mean, all through the 1800s, you know, I mean, you know, if you, if you watch, I know Westerns aren't real, they're kind of make-believe, but, you know, you've got ropes, you've got, you know, people are making condiments and, you know, sweet things and cakes, but there's, there's still an, there's a lot of nice furniture in those times, you know, e even things for rich people, even the, the the very very wealthy people, you know the houses, the the shop windows, even the the buildings, you know the Georgian and Victorian buildings, it, there was some kind of like a, a hand touch, something human, 
um, even if it wasn't perfect, there there is this kind of care for the style, and now all this minimalist, cheap, 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 minimalist, minimalist. Ever since they got all the machines and went cheap, minimalist, what's happened is that is when it's accelerated into these very few um, controlling people getting absolute insane amounts of money and everyone having this kind of like, you know, Adidas tracksuit style kind of world with um, McDonald's drive throughs which is all kind of, you know, it's all minimalist corporate art oriented. And I'm not saying that, you know, it was... I'm not saying the world was any better when you've got horses walking up and down the streets, you know, pooping everywhere and, you know, cobbled roads and, you know, smells and stuff like that. But there there definitely wasn't a, a, an excess. You could say that people were, you know, if, if poor people w- were starving, at least, you know, th- they were underfed and not overfed. Now when it's overfed, it's a big mess and you know you can say that oh there's still people starving in certain areas but we know that you know they've they, they've only made excess money because people have you know they give all the money to charities and the lottery when a lot of that money people could be just giving it direct to people in their own communities and neighborhoods and not it doesn't have necessarily need to go through all these other charities who think it's more they can you know find better things to do with the money or they should be managing where the money goes rather than being charitable to your neighbor or charitable to people in the community or charitable to people in the street if you've got a surplus of money in the local neighborhood so i actually i blame the labor party i i think that the labor party in england was the worst thing that has been ever invented i think that the labor party is the worst thing that could have happened to the human race ever and it it really marks in in my opinion uh, the the start of everything going wrong which is 1900 that that is I mean, I know that we've had, you know, even before then we had civil wars and, and so forth. And there's always been different problems, but I don't think that they accelerated um, and caused that much of a ridiculous mess since then, you know? Um, and some of it was naivety. I don't, th- the Labour Party is not for the working people, it's for the rich people. It, 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 the work, the Labour Party is there so they unite as a workforce and obey and do the work. That is its purpose and goal, um, and it doesn't prioritise the people of the country. It, it prioritises the people of the country making things for, um, you know, the elite and, and even the things they make for themselves. I mean, they're the people who are making everything, and then they're complaining that their stuff's crap or no good or it's just, you know, tacky or whatever it is. Uh, and now, you know, they're up in the stand, oh, no, we're making better stuff now, but, but all the stuff they're making is so you can be controlled. We're making his own, we're making his own, you know, um, monitoring devices, um, motion detectors, you know, slave, we're building his own um, prisons, and that is some of the themes like the BBC put, at least in the new Doctor Who, I don't know what, but we don't really know whose side the BBC are on anymore or what side at all, but... You know that that has been a strong theme through um, that's now coming through YouTube and independent channels and independent people have started to wake up and realise what. But this is what happens when these people get um, do what they when you get a few people just you know getting everything going their way without other people challenging it or without it being checked or or without any opposition or any real opposition and then they kind of cheat you out of your true opposition powers this is what happens i think you know um and to be honest i i think that the working class have done too much work they get this kind of like you know working class hero and you know you know doing a lot of work and working a hell of a lot and being proud of it no one you know wants people who are just work shy or avoiding helping out or they don't want to help other people out but you know for, for what the for what those people have put in through their lives in you know generations since the 1900s i don't think they got a very good deal at all i don't think they've had a good deal i don't think they've had a fair deal so why do they still vote for that party that that you know and uh, now it's promising these powerhouses but that you know there's all these weird uh, occurrences happening after the um 
you know, pandemic and doctors, you know, still arguing over, you know, whether that was a good thing or not. Ram, what all the investigations from Ram Paul and so forth. It, 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 something with this whole World Economic Forum is very, very, very sinister, particularly when you throw into it all this genetic engineering and then all the androids and robots. It, it's... It, and the fact that we're not having a vote or saying it and they're making the phone so you consent, submit, accept, almost like Trojan in it, you know, they get you to have the phone, but then once they've got the phone and you need the phone and you can't do without it, then it's, oh, I'm just updating this or that. Well, you have to consent, accept. And then um, that is a Trojan. That's how a Trojan works. And, and that's entrapment, you know. It, 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 it's, it's almost like, you know, getting monkeys eating nuts and, and get a, a, a string tied on it, you know, uh, in order to, you know, it's almost like a, a fish swallowing um, a bait. Once a fish swallows a bait, then you can reel it in, and that's what they're doing with the mobile phones. Once you accept the mobile phone and get used to it, so it's in your pocket and you don't want to let go of it, then they can update it I and do what they want to it, and you will agree to it, uh, or, you, or, you, or you won't have it, they'll take it off you, and then, then you lose all your photos, your pictures, and the things like that. So it's very diabolical. Um, you know, and I don't, I really don't know what Starmer, a lot of people have been saying that, you know, Labour haven't really, they're not really, they don't have a, or, or they don't give a proper mission or statement anymore. It's all, you know, powerhouses, which, what does that mean? Well, it means that houses have motion detectors, uh, video cameras inside, government can, like, you know, like, just see, oh, what's Mr. Johnson up to at the moment? Look for, you know, that's the government's power. It's not your power. It's not, a, it's not a powerhouse for you. It's a power for the government over you, you know? Um, and, and if you had, you know, if you were socially um, capable and doing well why would you need security gates why would people want to break into your house why would people not like you you know it's all like this uh, Maya Tusi thing on the news is having to go around with a bulletproof vest now which is quite funny although like you know it's just ironic um it, 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 I've never in my whole life you know I'm I mean I was getting to a point where I was you know okay I was quite happy in life socially and so forth but you know it, 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 it's gone worse. These devices, when Bill Gates had all his computers and, you know, go on the internet and everything, they promised all this social um, connections that would, you know, get you um, hooked up in life with, you know, meeting the right people and going to the right places. And it didn't actually happen. Maybe some people, but I don't think those people had problems anyway. And I think that people... Without the class divide and the class separation and, and the other, you know, distractions of, you know, the celebrity distractions and, you know, all the other distractions, I think people would have a, a, a lot better social lives. Uh, and they didn't concentrate on that, really. You know, they want every, they want like a few people on the stage and they want everyone to turn up and cheer and I know that you have to do that. It's 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 unavoidable if you need to communicate to large amounts of people and be in responsible positions. You have to speak to large amounts of people. It, it's impossible to avoid it. But the way they're doing it, it, it it's it's it kind of it, the whole name Starmer. You know, it, it, it's all about you know being a star. And I do. I think that you know it. it you lose all the music of the communities, you know, they used to have these, you know, working class communities where they would, you know, do all lots of dancing, Morris dancing, everyone playing instruments and things like that, rather than all turning up, um, you know, to watch a, a couple of people on a stage when you've got these O2 arenas full, which I, I think is wrong. And, and, I, and, and I don't know why Tony Blair likes that. I think he... When he was a select, you know, when he was the prime minister, I think he got a thrill out of it, you know. And you know, this is that was what people were saying about him wanting to keep relevant, even after he, you know, left the prime minister job. Um, it, 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 I don't like the whole model for what they're going through at the moment.